everybody doing? So I'm up here in the bathroom. Um, it's a little bit quieter up here. <laughs> but we just got back. Uh, my son had a doctor's appointment and we just got back and we ate at this really cool restaurant called The Hot Pot. And it's like, um, they bring like, they have this like bowl of where you pick your broth and your vegetables and meats and things and they bring it on a tray and then they put the pot down in and it literally cooks there like making your own type of soup and things right on the table. It was really cool. But, so we just got back from that and um, I just want to share with you guys um, since Thanksgiving is next week, I can't believe it. It's just time is going so fast. But I wanted to share with you a DIY um, that I'm doing with some chalkboard paint. And um, then I also thought, you know, in the beginning of this video, I think, you know, there was a clip of my um, Thanksgiving journal. It's kind of like 30 days of Thanksgiving, something that I was trying um, for this month. So you just label the days uh, 1 through 30 for the 30 days of November. And each day I've just tried to write something down that I'm thankful for. And just something about putting it on paper just really, you know, brings it into perspective. Um, and just, you know, makes you really thankful during this month of Thanksgiving, but also, you know, all year round. So um, I just wanted to share that with you and get uh, ready to do this DIY for Thanksgiving. And then I'm super excited because I love Christmas and it's coming soon. Um, so I've got a lot of Christmas decorating videos up ahead and super excited for that as well. But without further ado, let's get into the DIY. So I'm starting off with a scrap piece of wood that I had left over from another project. But you can get a piece of wood like this, um, you know, at your hardware store, like a Lowe's or a Home Depot, Menard, something like that, and they can cut it whatever size you'd like. Um, and then I just wanted to measure it and see um, what size this was exactly, um, since it was a scrap piece I was using, and then kind of go from there to help me decide what size I wanted to make my word here in the middle. So I went on Design Space and I'm going to put the word thankful in the middle. So I picked a font off of Defont and this video is not sponsored or anything but I love that Defont.com you can get free fonts and load them onto your Design Space. And then I got out my, my husband got me new boards. Mine were so gross and just old because I've used them so much. So I'm so excited to have fresh new, or mats I guess is what you call them. But, um, so I'm just going to cut, you know, to size here what I need for the word. I actually did it a little bit long. I don't like to waste vinyl because it's kind of expensive, but um, that's okay. And so I got this in and it's cutting out um, the word right now. There's still a little bit of scratchiness. I apologize with the speaker on my phone. We're going to try one more thing to fix it and if it doesn't work, I'll probably end up getting a new phone. But now the word is out and I peel it off the top and I'm just going to weed it and get it ready to stick on. And this is a chalkboard paint I got from um, Lowe's. And you want to make sure it says chalkboard. There, I was confused when I first started doing crafts, you know, between the chalk paint and the chalkboard paint. So the chalk paint is like a paint that you use on furniture or things like that that has a really like chalky matte finish and then you put a clear coat over the top of it. And then this is the actual chalkboard paint, um, which you usually, you know, get at a hardware store as opposed to, well, some craft stores I think carry them, but I couldn't find it at our Michaels. So I'm just putting it on with a foam brush and it's definitely going to take more than one coat. Um, I end up using two coats, um, so I'm putting the first coat on here and letting it kind of dry. And then my little one was like, I want to paint, I want one. So I actually found another scrap piece of wood and decided to paint her one that she could just take her sidewalk chalk and just kind of draw all over since it's too cold to go outside here now and just something she can carry around and use to draw on. 
while I'm finishing this one up, the, finishing the first coat, I just want to say welcome if you're new here and welcome back if you've been with me for a while. I'm just so thankful for all of you and especially at this month of Thanksgiving, I just want to tell you all how much I appreciate all of your support. I'm just so thankful to get to know you all and I'm just having a great time and I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. So here is Autumn's board I'm going to do for her. So I'm just going to do the same thing while mine's drying. I'm going to paint hers um, the first coat and let it get drying. It actually dries pretty quickly. Like I went and like threw a load of laundry on and came back and mine was already ready for the second coat. Um, I don't know if the wood just kind of soaked it up, but um, it dried pretty quick. I got a pretty good sized can of it. They didn't have like a smaller can, but I've got some other DIYs in mind, including one for Christmas. We can make some reusable um, name tags for wrapping gifts and things. So I'll make a video doing that. It's really fun. So I've been a little sporadic with uploading videos and I'm sorry about that. We've had some sickness and Austin had his wisdom teeth taken out and we've had a lot going on and then my phone issues. So I'm hoping now we can, I can get back in the groove of um, uploading videos more often. I've got a lot of Christmas content coming up and just some fun things. So right there in that clip before, I was just showing the difference between um, one coat and two coats. So definitely needed the second coat for sure. So I'm gonna put the second coat on Autumn's board here. And yeah, once the second coat dried, then it had the look that I was really going for, sort of a, you know, matte black, definite chalkboard look. You could kind of still see a little bit of the wood grain, so that was kind of cool, kind of gave it like a distressed look. Now I'm just gonna measure it here and try to get my center. Most of the time I just kind of eye it, but I thought, well, I'll try to measure it and at least get close to the center so that it doesn't look offset. So once I get the center, then I'll figure out the center of the word by counting how many letters is in the word and spaces and just divide it in half. And so in this one, there was eight letters, so the um, K and the N were the center. And this is the transfer tape, which is a little tip. This is actually clear contact paper from Walmart. It works really well. It's so much cheaper and you get so much more, but I've been using it for a while on all my projects and so far it's been great. You can find it over in like the um, section where like the drawer liners and the dish mats and things are in Walmart. So now I've got it on there and it's ready to use. So my plan is to have everybody use like the best thing is like the chalkboard um, markers, the chalk markers. I have one, I could not find it. So I actually took this little piece of chalk off of Autumn's little play chalkboard. It's a lot harder to write with because there's like no point on it, but I kind of messed up the M here a little bit, but I'm writing my family because that's what I'm really thankful for. And I thought, you know, the chalkboard marker definitely works a lot better. But this definitely gives you an idea of what it will look like. I went back and kind of fixed my M here. Now it's ready for everybody to sign and put what they're thankful for. Thank you all so much for being here and I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving and I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Take care and God bless.